Today, everyone, now we will discuss briefly on how to make a literature review in Chapter 2 of our research paper. The purpose of a literature review is to collect relevant, timely research on your chosen topic and synthesize it into a cohesive summary of existing knowledge in the field. This then prepares you for making your own argument on that topic or for conducting your own original research. Depending on your field of study, literature reviews can take different forms. Some disciplines require that you synthesize your sources topically, organizing your paragraphs according to how your different sources discuss similar topics. Other disciplines require that you discuss each source in individual paragraphs covering various aspects in that single article, chapter, or book. Within your review of a given source, you can cover many different aspects, including the purpose, the scope, methods, results, any discussion points, limitations, and amplifications for future research. Make sure you know which model your professor expects you to follow when writing your own literature reviews. Benefits of Literature Reviews Literature reviews allows you to gain familiarity with the current knowledge in your chosen field as well as the boundaries and limitations of that field. Literature reviews also help you to gain an understanding of the theory driving the field allowing to place your research question into context. Lit literature reviews provide an opportunity for you to see and even evaluate successful and unsuccessful an assessment and research methods in your field. Literature reviews prevent you from duplicating the same information as of writing in your field, allowing you to find your own unique approach to your topic. Literature reviews give you familiarity with the knowledge in your field, giving you the chance to analyze the significance of your additional research. Choosing your sources When selecting your sources to compile your literature review, Make sure you follow these guidelines to ensure you are working with the strongest, most appropriate sources possible. Topically relevant. Find sources within the scope of your topic. Appropriately aged. Find sources that are not too old for your assignment. For our research paper, the ideal and acceptable year is 10 years ago or starting the year of 2000. Credible. Find sources whose authors have authority on your topic. Appropriately publish. Find sources that meet your instructor's guidelines, academic, professional, print, and etc. This is the tip. Treat your professors and librarians as experts you can turn to for advice on how to locate sources. They are a valuable asset to you, so take advantage of them. How to organize your literature review. Number one, synthesizing topically. Some assignments require discussing your sources together in paragraphs, organized according to shared topics between them. For example, in a literature review covering current conver conversations on Alison Bechdel's fan home, authors may discuss various topics including her graphic style, her allusions to various literary texts, her stories simplifications regarding, regarding LGBTQ experiences in 20th century America. In this case, you would cluster your sources on these three topics. One paragraph would cover how the sources you collected dealt with Bechdel's graphic style, another for allusions, and third for amplifications. Each of this paragraph would discuss how the sources you found treated these topics in connection to one another. Basically, you compare and contrast how your sources discuss similar issues and points. To determine the shared topics, examine aspects building thesis, definition of terms, common ground, issues that divide, and rhetorical context. 
Number two, summarizing individually. Depending on the assignment, your professor may prefer that you discuss each source in your literature review individually. Your professor may give you specific guidelines as far as what to cover in these paragraphs or sections. If, for instance, your sources are all primary research studies, here are some aspects to consider covering. The purpose, the scope, participants, results, discussions, limitations, simplifications, and significance. Each section of your literature review in this case will identify all of these elements for each individual article. You may or may not need to separate your information into multiple paragraphs for each source. If you do, using proper headings in the appropriate citation style will help you keep you organized. For our research paper, we will use the summarizing individually in organizing your literature review. Review of related literature divided into the following subsections. Number one is what we call the local literature. This included books, magazines, newspapers, pictures, articles written by local authors. In foreign literature, this includes the same type of materials in the local literature, but the difference is that it was written by foreign authors. In local and foreign studies, these are studies that refer to graduate and undergraduate thesis, dissertations. Those written by local authors are classified as local literature, those by foreign authors for foreign studies. So this is the example of review of related literature and studies. As you can see here, the researcher identified first whether it is a local or foreign. And then the researcher cited first the name of the author and the year published. Remember, make sure when you are citing your RRL, you cite exactly what is written in your sources. You don't have to change or paraphrase the statement. After you cite your review of related literature, you have to explain why this become your RRL, what is the connection of your RRL to your research paper, and how it is related, or you have to explain everything. So this is the requirement for our research paper, at least 5 local and 5 foreign literature. So thank you for joining today's class. Let us all enjoy learning. Oh, oh, oh.